The house at 1104 Worthington Street, known as the William Harris House in Springfield, Mass., at the corner of Ingersoll Grove and Worthington Street, around 1938. Uh, the massive house is the only four-story single-family home in Springfield, and it was the longtime home of William and Henrietta Harris. William and Henrietta married and moved into the house in uh, 1893. It was the tallest building in Springfield, Massachusetts, the only four-story family residence. The style of 1104 Worthington is Queen Anne. It was built for $15,000, one of the most expensive houses in the McKnight area. It's also the tallest house in the city. William Harris, president of the Bausch & Harris Machine Tool Company, and two-term alderman was its owner. The McKnight District in Springfield, Massachusetts, was first called the Highlands. Uh, it later became McKnight after the brothers who built it into the largest intact wood frame Victorian residential area in New England. It's now listed on the National Registry of Historic Places. It's, before the Civil War, there were some scattered farms. Jamaica, an early black community, bordered Goose Pond, which is now covered by Sherman, Bowles, and Catherine Street which I'll go into further in more tours. The McKnight District in 1870, after two decades after Springfield became a city, <coughs> they bought a 22-acre farm and began building houses. I think that's uh, some Tiffany stained glass there. It was the first totally planned residential area of size in this region. Extension and electrification of trolley lines on State Street and Worthington Street and St. James Ave in the 1890s spurred further construction. The McKnights and other developers built more than 800 houses by the turn of the century. A lot of them have been considered to be, you know, architectural styles listed as places of note. Um, Springfield, Mass. is known as the City of Homes. And you'll see that to be true as I do further exploration and videos of the architectural style. And there's a lot of different, you know, very eclectic. This picture here is 1908, the corner of Worthington and Main Street. Um, so if they moved into that house on Worthington Street, which would be way up the hill, okay? Um, so... I imagine probably if that was the tallest house, that their view was probably all the way at that time. They probably could have seen all the way down to Main Street. I find it just really, really amazing. I love architect architecture. I love history. And I hope you guys like these videos. Please like and subscribe. And have a great day. Peace, love, and tacos. Those poor women doing laundry, walking across the mud in the street. This is the first trolley barn in 1892. Just wanted to throw it in there.